In this video, we will discuss about program number 15. Program statement says, find the sum of the series, and this is the given series, S is equal to 1 factorial, this exclamation sign is read as factorial, we will read this, okay, <coughs> read this as factorial, remember this. 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial so on till n factorial where this n is the number of terms. This is the first term, this is second, this is third, this is fourth till n. Okay. So to under understand this one, this program, first of all we have to understand the concept of factorial. You will study this concept of factorial in mathematics and you will use it, okay, implement in one of the topic that you will study in mathematics permutation and combination in higher classes so let us discuss first of all what is factorial okay before we discuss the file uh, this topic factorial okay look at this small code okay here the name of the class is factorial sum okay factorial sum and i have used your main method and main method is accepting here one parameter of integer type int n okay and n is the basically the number of terms that we required as per the program statement okay and it is of integer type okay integer data type and let us understand now what is factorial as per mathematics if n is the number let us suppose okay and this sign of exclamation okay we will say uh, read it as okay we will say it as ac <coughs> factorial this okay how will you read it and factorial okay if n is a number then n factorial will be n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 n minus 5 so on till n turns to 1. For example, let us take a smaller number first of all 3. 3 factorial, 3 factorial will be 3, value of n is 3, we have assumed. So, first it is 3 as it is 3 into 3 minus 1, 2, 2, uh, 3 minus 2, 1. So, now you can see the number n that stores 3, it is turned to 1. So, this process will stop here and we will find out the product of this. Product of this is 6. So, 3 factorial is 6. I have somebody ask you what is 4 factorial. So, you will immediately say 4 factorial is 4. Okay. A value of n is 4. Okay. Then 4 minus 1, 3. 4 minus 2, 2. 4 minus 3, 1. And this process will stop here because number has turns to. Okay. Now, it has it has turned to 1 okay so this process will stop here now we will find out the product product is 24 so now you can immediately say that what is the 5 factorial it will be definitely 5 into 4 into 3 into okay 2 into 1 and that will be 120 if somebody asks you what is 6 factorial okay so in this way you can find out the factorial of any number uh, only you have to remember this the key concept. This is the formula for finding out the factorial of any number. Okay. So five and two. Okay. Rest of the things will remain same. So I will copy it. Okay. And I will paste it here. And here will be seven twenty. So six factorial is seven twenty. Now our first requirement is to understand that how to find out the factorial of a single number okay like what is 3 factorial to create a logic for finding out the any number so look at this number carefully okay 3 okay forget about for the time being these factorials okay look at this one only a single number so 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 so you can see here the numbers are decreasing first it is 3 then it is decreased by 1 2 then again it is decreased by 1 okay it is 1 and we have to find out what product okay first it will be 3 into 2 6 and then 6 into 1 that is again 6 so 6 is the resultant so this process we have to 
follow so we will use your loop for that okay to perform this process int i will declare one variable int okay of integer type that is i and here will we will use loop okay i is equal to now let us now what will be the value of i definitely our requirement is that <coughs> here we have to use we have assumed that we have have to find out the factorial of 3 so let us assume that value stored in n is 3 so here will be definitely what n okay so if user in enter here 3 okay while running this program so here will be what definitely 3 okay next time what is our requirement the value of n will be 2 so we have to decrease the value of i by 1 okay this will be our step value definitely because next time our requirement is 2 so step value will be i minus minus now what will be the test condition okay so test condition will be since our okay this process we have to repeat of subtracting this okay first it will be 3 then it will be 2 then it will be 1 so this process will be repeated till the value of i okay reaches to this value that is 1 so definitely here will be i greater than equal to 1 why greater than equal to 1 because first it will be 3 3 is greater than 1 then it will be value will be decreased by 1 it will be 2 2 is greater than 1 then 1 is equivalent to 1 okay so this is the reason I have used here greater than equal to okay so the value will keep on decreasing starting from the bigger number 3 2 1 if we assume that n stores 3 so this will be the loop this is our requirement okay and okay now what will be the okay within the body within the body we will use one statement okay uh, fact is equal to fact is a variable let us declare this variable remember this before we use the variable we must declare it so we will declare it and we will initialize it by one y by one any number multiplied by one is number itself so here will be what fact into i first of all okay because our first requirement is what if user enter three here will be three three is greater than equal to one yes this is true three is greater than one not equal to but is it greater than so this relational operator will result in true and here will be what 1 into 3 okay so that is our requirement first number first what we require we require 3 then we have to multiply 3 by 2 so next time value of i will be decreased by 1 it will be 2 so definitely so since for the first time factor will store 3 why because 3 into 1 next time it will be 3 into 2 let me explain it okay here that what is going to happen what we have assumed let us suppose the value entered by the user is 3 so definitely n is n stores 3 this means n stores 3 okay and let us bring this statement down okay and this one up a little bit yep. no, it's fine okay so value of n okay so this value of n we have assumed that let us assume that user enter 3 value so here will be 3 and after entering the value this set of statement will execute definitely here will be comma okay instead of this so after that the value this okay value of fact will be initialized fact is 1 okay this is value of factor is 1 and here when loop will execute what is the value of i what value of i will be here we can see here since the value of i is equal to n and value of n is 3 so i will be definitely 3 now compiler will check this test condition whether the test condition of loop this for loop is true or not now this test condition this test condition becomes value of i is 3 so this test condition becomes 3 greater than equal to 1 3 is greater than 1 yes it's not equal to but it's greater than so this relational operator will result in true value boolean value true and if test condition results in true 
then definitely the body of loop will execute this is pair of curly bracket defines the body of loop and within the body of loop this is the statement so this statement will execute and this the statement i will i'm going to copy the statement so this statement will execute so when this statement will execute what will happen okay when this statement will execute the value of fact as we can see here the value of fact is 1 initially so here will be 1 1 into okay 1 into i will use a stick sign 1 into 3 because value of i is we can see here 3 so 1 into 3 is definitely 3 so value of fact okay value of fact is updated value of fact is updated to 3 now because this 3 will be stored in the fact now after the execution of this statement that is here in the loop okay compiler control will come to this statement that is i minus minus that is step value okay or we can say update value the value of i will be updated now this value will be updated by i minus minus i minus minus means okay this means i is equal to i minus 1 so here this means i is equal to value of i is 3 so here will be definitely 3 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 so value of this means i stores now value 2 the value of i is updated the new value of i is 2 now since the value of i is updated because of this i minus minus now again the compiler will check the test condition whether it is still true or not okay because loop will terminate only if the test condition becomes false so again compiler will check whether it is still true or not so i'm going to copy this for the time being okay so this test condition i whether it is true or not so since the value of i is now 2 so here will be what definitely 2 2 is greater than equal to 1 2 is greater than 1 yes it is not equal but it's greater than 1 so definitely this relational operator greater than or equal to will result in true value and if condition is true if this test condition is true again this statement within the body of loop will execute okay that is fact okay this will execute Uh, system is hanged I think okay oh, sorry mm, my system is taking a little bit of time okay uh, it's stuck between okay it's hanged so it, this is the statement which will execute okay so now here I will copy this okay rather than copying let me type it okay so here will be fact is equal to now value of fact is updated this is the value updated value so here will be 3 definitely 3 and then n2 okay 3 n2 value of i is also updated that is 2 so it was 3 into 2 and that picks 6 okay this means the value of fact okay this fact is now changed okay and that is now 6 okay here we have calculated that value now again after the executing this statement again the compiler control will come to this i minus minus okay and this is the statement which i want to explain okay and i minus minus means i minus one so value of i is here two now so we will update the value here two so two minus one two minus one is one so now value of i is updated okay this updated value is now one now again compiler will check okay that whether this test condition is still true or not okay if it is true again the body of loop will execute so again same process will be repeated so i'm going to copy it rather than typing it again okay and i will paste it here okay and i will do this <coughs> required changes value of i is one okay so one is greater than one <laughs> one is greater than one no but one is equivalent to one so again this test condition this relational operator results in true so if condition is true the statement will execute and the statement is within the body of loop so it will execute and here will be 
value of fact we have calculated here 6 so definitely this time here will be 6 okay and value of i is 1 you can see here so here will be definitely 1 6 into 1 definitely 6 so fact stores 6 and now value of i will be decreased by 1 that is i minus 1 value of i is 1 so 1 minus 1 it's now 0 this is the very important step because this is the termination point now now value of i is updated i is equal to 0 now this test condition becomes okay this test condition this one okay i will copy this now this test condition i greater than equal to 1 becomes 0 is greater than equal to 1 0 is neither greater nor equal to 1 so this relational operator will result in false now test condition becomes this test condition of loop becomes false loop will terminate and the final value that is stored in the factor is 6 and what number we have entered initially and then 3 so 3 factorial is what 6 so this is the code that will find out the factorial of any number okay that is entered in the variable n okay so if you want to check it by running the program let us make this entire as a comment and now I'm going to run this I'm going to enter here first 3 we'll click on OK I forgot to use the output statement to print the value sorry so let me use your output statement quickly this sense fact store the result so I have to print the value of fact okay now definitely it will print okay so I will run this and I will run it to okay. 3 so definitely it will print 6 on the output terminal and 3 factorial is 6 okay similarly we can check out other one, ones okay 4 factorial 4 factorial is 24 so let us check it out 4 4 factorial is 24 we can check it 5 5 factorial is 120 okay 6 factorial 720 so we can see here 720 okay so this set of statement okay is able to find out the factorial of single number okay and you can see one factorial single number two factorial single number three factorial okay this means if I keep on changing the value of n first it will be here let us 1 then 2 okay then this okay and this code will now find out factorial of 2 if I use here 1 then this will find out the factorial of 1 okay so I have to change values here okay the value of n I have to change keep on changing starting from 1 then 2 then 3 why because as per program statement first we have to find out the factorial of 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 till the number till n so how we can do this do this by using another loop okay by changing the value from 1 till n so I'm going to use another loop for declaring another loop first of all let us declare one variable j and here will be j j is equal to 1 why 1 because first time our requirement is 1 okay and this loop will run till n because if user enter n uh, value of n 5 this means for the first time okay <coughs> the value okay for this loop outer loop value of j will be 1 then it will be 2 then it will be 3 then 4 and 5 because we will keep on increasing the value of j by 1 each time okay because next time we want 2 factorial remember this then 3 factorial then 4 factorial so we have to increase the value of this variable j by 1 each time till that number okay number of terms so here will be j less than equal to n and we have to increase the value of j by 1 so that after first natural number that is 1 okay we can find out the factorial of second natural number that is 2 because here what is our requirement next time we want 2 factorial then 3 factorial then 4 factorial so here instead of n definitely we will use j because value of j will keep on changing starting from 1 till n and this entire set of statement okay this we don't require for the time being okay because our requirement is not to print the factorial of single 
natural number uh, our requirement is to print the sum of the factorials of natural numbers so we will place this set of statement entire set of statement within the body of this loop outer loop okay now value of j will keep on changing first it will be 1 then it will be 2 when it will be 1 at that time this set of statement will find out what the factorial of 1 that is our requirement factorial of 1 next is when value of j will be updated next time it will be 2 so here value of j will be 2 so when value of j will be 2 at that time this set of statement will find out the factorial of 2 and that is our requirement factorial of 2 next when value of j will be again updated it will be 3 then here will be here in the inner loop the value of j will be 3 and this set of statement will find out the factorial of 3 ok so in this way this process will be repeated and we, we will get what the factorials of the natural numbers ok till what till the n number if you say enter 3 then definitely uh, value of n 3 then we will be able to find out the sum of first three natural numbers uh, factorials ok first one factorial natural number ok one is natural number one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial sum of the factorials of natural numbers so now this is finding the factorial now how to sum up to sum up we will use only one statement that a similar kind of statement we have used in some of the digits if you remember since fact stores the factorial of each number so only we have to use this statement sum is equal to sum plus fact okay this sum will store what the sum of the terms of this series okay look at here what is our requirement we have to add this okay this one uh, 2 factorial will be what 2 factorial will be let me use here 2 factorial also 2 factorial will be definitely 2 into 1 and 2 2 into 1 that is 2 okay and uh, 1 factorial will be okay uh, definitely 1 factorial is 1 okay so now what is our requirement uh, as per 1 factorial is 1 so first time it will be here look at here 1 factorial will be 1 2 factorial will be 2 so 1 plus 2 3 ok so if user enter here value of n 2 so this program will result in value 3 because 1 factorial plus 2 factorial 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 so 1 plus 2 that makes 3 ok so definitely ok when the value of j will be 1 this will find out the factorial of 1 factorial of 1 is 1 so this fact will store 1 so 1 plus 0 because initially value of sum is 0 0 plus 1 1 so sum will store what this sum will store 1 next time when again this loop will execute this one so value of 2 j will be 2 so next time this set of code this set of statement will find out the factorial of 2 factorial of 2 is 2 ok so after the termination of loop fact value of fact will be what 2 ok here will be 2 so sum earlier stores 1 1 1 plus 2 3 so now sum stores the sum of these two factorials that is 1 plus 2 3 ok let me so after the termination of loop we have to print this ok sum ok because sum stores what the sum of the terms ok these terms of factorials sum of the natural numbers factorials ok so now if we let us make this comment entire again so that we can cross check whether our program is correct as per the requirement or not so ok here will be one curly bracket is missing ok yeah now it's fine ok mm. I'm going to run this code and I'm going to enter here 2 so 1 factorial is 1 plus 2 factorial is 2 so 1 plus 2 3 so we can see here 3 now here will be 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial is 6 ok we have let me show you 3 factorial is 6 look at here so this means 1 plus 2 plus 6 ok 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial 
will be 1 plus 2 plus 6 that is 9. So, if I enter the value of n 3 definitely we will get the result 9. Okay, if I enter here 3, 9. Let us check some more numbers. Now, if I enter here the value of n 4, okay, then definitely first time the value of n, okay, this we will find out the factorial of 1, then factorial of 2, then factorial of 3 because value of j will keep on changing, then factorial of 4, okay. So, this means we have to add 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 24 that makes 33 okay so definitely one factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial is 6 and 4 factorial is 24 if we add all these results we will get 33 okay so if i run this code and if i enter here value 4 so we can see here the result in this 33 